When your first alert forecast, we're tracking some strong storms that are going to be moving here into our Thursday, which is why it is a first alert weather day. Those storms now moving into Mississippi, Alabama toward the Florida Panhandle, where there is an enhanced and a moderate risk of severe weather. Now that's going to stay off to our west for Wednesday, and right now we're not doing too bad outside. We've got a southerly flow, wind gusts near 20 at times this afternoon, but we turn a little stormy as we get into tomorrow. Right now, this is your riverfront view of downtown. Looks nice, but we're going to have some storms built in as we go into uh, the next, uh, say, 24 hours or so. Probably a stormier view when you're watching this time tomorrow. Let's take a look at what you can expect through the afternoon. Temperatures in the upper 70s in Savannah right now. Going to hold in that range as we go through the next few hours. Again, sustained wind about 10 to 15 gusting near 20. But there's your first alert weather day on Thursday. Almost everybody getting in on the heavy rain. Not everybody. It will be under a severe thunderstorm warning, but there's a good chance of that as we go through our Thursday starting in the morning. So we've got a slight risk of severe weather for all of the low country and coastal empire. Everybody watching here. Let's break down these specific threats for this. So get your need to know for tomorrow starting as early as 5 a.m. Maybe a little earlier for our western areas. That's when these storms are going to start moving in here. We'll be up early with you. A few of these storms could be severe, likely going to be warned for wind gusts near 60 miles an hour. Of course, within these thunderstorms, you could have some embedded tornadoes and heavy rain is not a severe threat, but it is its own threat and we'll be watching that. So let's take a look at the future radar here as the shower storms start moving in early in the morning time at the top of your screen. We're going to see these showers and storms build in here through the mid to late morning hours. I-95 wetter mid to late morning into the early afternoon, including our coastal areas. Two o'clock right now looks like when most of us will be clearing that severe threat then goes down. Some wraparound showers possible after that as well. It's also going to be windy outside of the thunderstorms themselves. Wind gusts 30 to 40 will be possible. Consistent gusts more so 25 to 30. Still a breezy day. However you look at it, so not the best day up in Augusta either for the Masters, but good news is that everything clears out as we head into the weekend looking much nicer. Same for us here in the low country in the coastal empire, so we're dry today. Rain builds in overnight into tomorrow, but that's the one day that we really have a rain chance out of the next week. So we dry things out and warm things up as we head into the afternoons of our weekend. We're back in the 80s, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, looking nice as we head into next week as well.